Hello, Mac the Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul Nealon. I'm here to discuss my Republic of Ireland starting 11 to face Finland tomorrow evening in the UEFA Nations League. Ireland looking to capitalise on their last win in Helsinki against Finland and obviously coming up against England. Uh, our last game against Greece we lost, but I'm going to get straight into it and I'm going to go with what I would like to see, Quivin Kelleher in goal. I think as much as I'd like to see Mark Travers given a chance uh, with his recent form, I do think having that consistency of Kelleher uh, and Nathan Collins uh, as our kind of spine there at the back, I think that that's what you got to go with. I think Nathan Collins will captain the team. I think that's fairly obvious, but Quivin Kelleher has been operating at a world-class level and I think he uh, makes total sense to go with. Mark Travers maybe bring him on in the second half if you really want to experiment, but I think we should be going for a win in this game. At uh, right back, I'm going to go with Matt Doherty, just with injuries and everything like that. Dara O'Shea seems to be carrying a knock. Same with Festi Ebazelli. So the obvious replacement there would be Matt Doherty. Not a popular choice at the moment. I respect that, but uh, at the same time, you got to play... Um, Doherty there because purely down to injuries and everything else uh, he has to come into the team he's been drafted in in place of Seamus Coleman Dara O'Shea played right back against Finland done really well there but I think uh, Matt Doherty is the obvious replacement for O'Shea there the two centre-backs Liam Scales Nathan Collins captain the team I think they were very solid uh, in the last international window so I think uh, going with them would be ideal Ryan Manning would be my left back other people might go with Callum O'Dowd but I would like to see Ryan Manning uh, as my left back in that back four. I think there's a bit of experience there and a bit of continuity. Uh, Ryan Manning probably being the one who's a little bit of a, an outcast in that back four, but he's a left back and that's where he plays. In midfield, I would go with Josh Cullen and Jason Malumbi as our two sitting pivots. Uh, in midfield, I think Josh Cullen, you have to have him in there. He's fit and Jason Malumbi. Um, you, it's a toss-up between Jason Malumbi and Jason Knight, really. Uh, but I think Jason Malumbi, he's all action. He gets around the pitch. Uh, he's good at carrying us up the pitch as well with the ball at pace. So uh, I'll probably go with Malumbi on that one. But as I said, it's a toss-up. Uh, I like them both and I, I'd like to see Malumbi in this one. Uh, ahead of them in, a, I suppose, an attacking position, I would go with Finn Azaz. Two goals last week for Middlesbrough and assist uh, in fantastic form coming into this. Uh, people were saying he wasn't too good in the reverse fixture. So maybe this is a chance for him to make amends and uh, show the Aviva what he can do because we're kind of crying out for a player to kind of light the um, the magic for the Irish team there. Um, Andrew Moore, I suppose, could be one as well that you could look at there. But as far as I know, he's carrying a knock. So uh, I would leave him out for this one. And uh, then up front, um, that's kind of like a 4-3-3 formation that I would like to see. Um, whether Heimer goes with a 4-4-2, that remains to be seen. Um, obviously, we've no Chidozi like Benny in the team uh, and we've no Adam either. So I think I would go with Sammy Smodix on the right-hand side uh, of a front three. Evan Ferguson, who was just named uh, the Young International Player, Men's Player of the Year. And then off the right, I would, or sorry, off the left, I would probably go with Mikey Johnson. I like him in that position. He's tricky and uh, he's always have, leaving fans on the edge of their seats. So I think that's that's a team I think could get the result tomorrow. And I think it's a solid uh, foundation to build off. So let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, if you're going to the game, let us know what you think the scoreline would be. And also let us know what your starting level would be for the game tomorrow. And most importantly, come on, you boys in green.